Tension Masala. Sane and I are really tied to our Indian heritage and Indian cuisine. So we will be exploring a bunch of Indian restaurants in New York City, taking you to the best ones, exploring their flavors, their origins, what some of the food means, and how they were inspired by it. This is going to be elevated Indian cuisine, and we're taking you with us. So on today's journey, we're at a place that brings the past right into the future. It's a play on those, you know, those old traditions and tastes and flavors, putting a modern spin on it. Everything from your food to your desserts, to even their cocktails. What? They promise that your journey will be so good that you want to come back again and again, or as they call it, bar bar. <laughs> doesn't exist. So you don't only come here for food, of course. You know, if you're coming for dinner, our food is exciting, colorful, freshly cooked, and it's a different version of Indian food, right? What is before it wasn't there, and now a lot of people are doing it. So but it's not only about food. We have amazing cocktail, we have story, we have the design. Our brunch is super popular, that's like Hollywood party. That's why we want to bring something new to New York, which is what is truly really new. This doesn't exist anywhere. The lamb kima. Yeah. Have you ever had lamb kima? So I um, usually my family makes chicken kima or turkey kima. We've okay. also had veg kima. My like family soya kima. Yes. So my family splits. So we have half vegetarians, okay. half like meat eaters. Yeah. But I've never had lamb kima, so I'm excited for so this. So lamb kima is like a staple in my house. Okay. Yeah. It's like very cool because I feel like the lamb is so much like lamb as a meat is like so juicy and like tender okay. that it soaks the masala in. Mm -hmm. Super good. But you know what I am interested in? 
How if they put a modern spin? On to like, the pima? Yeah, on the Well, pima. I mean, by the presentation. The present date, of yeah. course. Is this cheese on top? Oh, I think so. Hi. Hi. So here we have Fire. <laughs> oh, no, Barbara. Hi, guys. <laughs> So what you're eating here is lamb keema with the pao, homemade pao. Oh, okay. So the lamb keema has a potato mousse on top. Okay. It's more on a take of shepherd's pie from England. So we tried to balance the spiciness with the potato mousse, so kind of balances the flavors. And it gives a really nice creamy texture. This is a malai mac and cheese. So it's chicken tikka um, uh, malai kebab in a cheese fondue with amul and other cheeses. So it's very gooey, almost like comfort food. Very excited to try it. Alright, thank you. Enjoy, thank you. How is it? Mm. This takes me back to the streets of Bombay. I'm not joking. Okay. We've kept the flavors like intact. Chicken tikka. A Malai chicken tikka that has like an inspiration from fondue, like cheese fondue. I've never I've had I've never had any. Okay, so break the cheese close. Ooh, you wanna do it? I know you like it, do it. <laughs> I guess fondue doesn't really have like cheese. Yeah. The chicken is so tender. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's like a little spicy for yeah, sure. Yeah, I was gonna say it has a kick to it. Mm. It does have a kick. Which I was not expecting. I was not expecting Malai either. chicken is like, it's not spicy. It's unexpected, I like it. Mm. What did you order? So I have the ricotta koftas. I love Malai kofta. And I also like ricotta cheese, but I've never had them together, so I'm very interested to see how this tastes. What about you? So I ordered the paneer pinwheel, okay, which I thought was gonna be like malai paneer, right. but like look how cool it is. It's like they like rolled it up into like a legit wheel. Yeah, so it's not like blocks of paneer. No. They've actually rolled it up. It's very like innovative. A, yeah, and, and I, Swiss roll kind of. Exactly, like a Swiss roll. I'm excited to try, but like. Classic Indian style, we gotta share we everything. Have to share. Oh my god. What did you try first? The kofta. Okay. Oh my god. It's good. I love the saffron is so intense. It's so good. The paneer. The paneer, you like it? I'm gonna be honest, the way that you know it's beginning though, I didn't know what to expect, but this is really, really good. Like, it tastes like paneer. I feel like I'm still eating paneer. Yeah? Oh, like, so I know you ordered the kofta. The is amazing. I love the kofta. It's like my favorite. I love saffron as a flavor. And damn, um, this is like. So I do good. taste the saffron in the kofta. It's so good. And like the foam on top. And the ricotta in the middle, like, mm, it's so good. Oh, wow. Mm. This is amazing. It's the most beautiful presentation of paneer I've ever seen. Okay, Sanya, what is this next drink that we have? So this is called a Hyderabadi Gimlet. Okay. Okay, which is like a gin-based cocktail. And I just think it like it's so cute. Like look at this little flower on top. I, know. I love the glass. I have a I'm friend from Hyderabad, so I'll have to tell her. To tell yeah, her. <laughs> if it is good, right? Cheers. Cheers. Do you like gin? I love gin. Well then cheers. Mm. Is it orange oh, juice? This is so good. It's like fresh. I think so, yeah. It's fresh. You can eat orange juice. Yeah. yeah. So man, I am so close. That was an amazing meal. It was amazing. The ambiance was great. The food was even better. Yes, I loved it. So if you're in New York or around the area, definitely check out Bar Bar. Absolutely, you have to. The staff was amazing. The, the, the vibe, the music, the bar. Yeah.
yes. Try everything we did and a lot more. And then come back to Bar Bar. Bar Bar and Dero. And don't forget, if you like our content, do subscribe, like, follow, comment, share, retweet, everything to Pink Villa because this is Kitchen Masala.